our next definition is about connectedness in a graph. This is another common property. This is as intuitive as you might think. A graph is connected if you can go from any vertex to any other vertex. Very obvious. So here's an example of a connected graph. Easy. I can go from every vertex to every other vertex. I can check that if I wanted to. I can go from the top left to all of the other ones. I can go from the top right to all of the other ones. I can go from the bottom right to all of the other ones. I can go from the bottom left to all of the other ones. Let's give one that's not connected. So the following graph at, on its own, that is one graph is not connected because there are two connected components is what we call those. So there are two subgraphs, graphs that are stuck within the graph itself that are connected, but the entire graph itself is not connected because I cannot go from the top left to the top right. That is not possible. So this is a unconnected graph. So on the left, we have our valid connected graph. And on the right, we have our invalid unconnected graph. There are two other notions of connectedness, which are worth mentioning, which is that some graphs are directed. We mentioned this before. So connectedness might seem a little weird there. So I'll give an example. So let's do our same graph that we had, where we go in this sort of box shape. But if we have arrows like this, hmm. Is this connected? It looks like it is, right? There's arrows touching everything, but you can't go backwards. You can only go in one direction. So in some sense, this bottom left vertex is kind of disconnected from the top left vertex. However, it looks like it is. So this is what we call weakly connected. It means that if you were to just not draw the arrows instead, so if we drew the following graph, where all of the arrows become just lines, is it still connected? If yes, then it is weakly connected. So this is a weakly connected graph. By contrast, a strongly connected graph is one where it's still reachable and it's directed. So let's do that same example that is not strongly connected. This one is invalid. However, if I take that same graph and add a single edge to it, so we copy it and paste it over here, and I add in an edge in the bottom left, which goes from the bottom left to the top left, I can now go from any vertex to any other vertex. This is a strongly connected graph because you can get from everywhere to everywhere. So this one is valid. So two different notions of connectedness for a directed graph. Some applications may require one, some applications may require another, depending on exactly what you are doing with your graph.